Hey guys, Jessica here with Team Macias of eXp Realty, bringing you your July monthly market update. So we're gonna jump right into the stats. There's been a lot of changes going on in the market. New listings are down 10.8% and sold homes are also down 15%. So those are huge changes guys from last year to this year. And what's causing a lot of these changes is there's been a lot of chatter and a lot of uncertainty with what the Fed is gonna do with the interest rate and then how is that going to affect the market. And what the conclusion has been drawn to is that we are not gonna see interest rates rise anytime in the near future. So that's good news. That means we're gonna keep being able to take advantage of these low rates, the lowest they've been in over 12 months. Uh, but the reason for the slow is with that impending news and uncertainty going on, everyone tends to pen, uh, pump the brakes. Sellers are holding off on listing things to see where the market's gonna go. And lenders were actually letting buyers know, hey, why don't we hold off a couple weeks, see if rates are gonna drop, that way we can get you a better deal. Um, so that's where a lot of that change went on. I personally have seen, um, and we'll get these stats next month for you, but in July in the first couple weeks, in, uh, activity has really increased quite a bit. I personally have opened five escrows in the first week and that's not something that you generally do. So lots of activity. I think next month we'll see a jump in those numbers. Um, back into things, home values are up 3.2%, so still a healthy level of appreciation going on. Uh, percentage of list price. So if you, right now we're looking at about 97.8%. Uh, that you'll get for your home when you list it. So if you list it in numbers at 550,000, you're gonna get about 538,000. So that's gone up a little bit from last month, which is good. Uh, you'll back pocket a little bit more money. Um, days on market. Days on market are hovering right around the same. It's 34 days to sell your home, which is still a really good time. Uh, so with all these changes going on, interest rates not rising for the rest of the year, I think we're gonna see an increase in competition and an increase in inventory now from now till the end of the year. Uh, and that's good news, that's good news for everyone. More buyers means there's gonna be more buyers for sellers, which means more sellers are gonna bring more, more homes to the market and more inventory gives more buyers more options. So it's a nice circle there of a win-win-win for everyone. Uh, if you're a seller and you're curious to know what does this new market mean for you? How is this gonna affect what you could sell your home for? Reach out to me, I'm happy to break down that information for you. And if you're a buyer with these lower interest rates, what does that translate into with more purchasing power for yourself? Let me know, 619-995-5792. And thank you guys so much for tuning in. I will see you next month.